What's up guys, Cody here with another tutorial. This is how to play Minecraft on your PC with a wired Xbox 360 controller. Uh, please um, realize that I prefer keyboard and mouse, so, but I'm just making this for the convenience of like others, so don't say like, oh, just use a keyboard and mouse, blah blah blah. I'm just doing this to help other people. I personally do not do this, but I know some people have asked, so I'm just informing them. Secondly, you're gonna need a wired controller for this. Wireless will, uh, wi wireless does work if you have the wireless USB receiver for your controller. Uh, basically, if you use a play and charge that only transmits power, not actual data to the computer. So that's not gonna work. First, let me show you that my controller is plugged in. It's an Xbox 360 controller for Windows right here. And uh, first thing you're gonna do is download Joy to Key, which I have already. Um, Basically, when you get joy to key it's going to come like this with joy to key .exe and read and uh, readme.txt. It'll come in as hip file. It doesn't come with this, but I'll put this in the description, or you can download this. I'll have it available for the download. And this is basically the mapped out buttons for the Xbox 360 controller. I'm going to close that for now. You know, want to open joy to key joy to key .exe. Drag this over. Close this for now. As you can see here, you have all your maps. Uh, well, your like your configuration. Click the others tab and check use axis other than X and Y. This will basically allow you to use the analog sticks. Um, X and Y only corresponds to horizontal and vertical movements, but we want more than that. And use POV switches. So we're gonna come back here to joysticks and then we're gonna get started. So basically, what we want to do is we want to open up this. Uh, buttons config right here. This will basically allow me to see what buttons are what on the controller rather than assuming that axis blah 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 is this. So you can see that like axis less than zero is the left thumbstick left. So we're just going to go ahead and click that. And uh, we're going to click over to the mouse tab and basically we're going to we're going to let's say let's put this at uh, 30 is good. So now you can see if I hit left on my controller, it moves the cursor to the left. Uh, greater than zero is left thumbstick right. Click the mouse tab, go over about to 30, whatever you prefer. This is all personal preference. Okay. Now, we're only going to set the, the keys appropriate for Minecraft, so I'm not going to go ahead and like map out every key, just, um, just ones I feel are needed. Uh, WASD is move, obviously. So <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna have that uh, axis greater than I mean less than zero is um, thumbstick up. So you just want to go ahead and set that to about thirty. Now, as you can see, I have function of left, right, and up for now. Axis greater than zero is down so I'm gonna click that and bring that down to about 30. You can uh you can mess around with this. This is all personal preference as I said before. So this will basically this is basically uh your crosshair in a sense. I should have probably did this the other way. But um like I said you can map this all out to your to your enjoyment. I am gonna change this actually now that I think about it. So thumbstick left we're gonna have well left should be movement so basically we're going to assign this to a keyboard and uh... probably should have did this beforehand but W so it's going to be the W key so now when I come over here and hit up it's going to type I mean when I type left it's going to type W even though that's not correct but uh, I'll set that to A for now. Okay, so now it's A. So now, when I type left, it's gonna when I uh, when I hit left on the D pad, I mean on the controller, it's gonna type an A, which is good for movement. So now we have axis. So this is right. So we're gonna set that to D. Set this back to zero. Make sure you set this back to zero. 
and then keyboard. Not it should already be at zero, but I was not too smart and I didn't do it right. And then that's gonna be D. And then this is up, so this is gonna be W. And this is down, so this is going to be S. Oh, S. And I forgot you should set this to zero. S. Okay. Let's set this back to zero. I forgot I didn't change that. Ah. Uh, and come back over here and hit W again. So, A, D, W, S, D. So, basically when I hit up, it's going to go W. When I hit, that didn't work out as planned. But yeah, you get the point. The controller's a little sensitive, but in Minecraft, it's not going to be a problem. I assure you that. Um right shoulder I don't know if you want to assign that to field of view so we're gonna just have that be the F key which will basically toggle render distance in the game so right bumper will be toggle render distance um left axis and all this other shit this is basically going to be uh, you're looking around which we're gonna do with the right thumbstick because that's the typical uh, first person shooter style um, Actually, you know what? We're gonna assign it, we're gonna assign the inventory to the left shoulder, which is a left bumper. All right. So now we have axis four. You know, I'm not gonna set all these like I said, but when it comes down to it, I will go ahead and f uh, fine tune this, I guess you can say, and then you can do what you want with it. So thumbstick left will be look. So we're gonna have go to the left. We'll set that to about thirty. Thumbstick right, we're gonna set that to the right to about plus thirty. Thumbstick uh thumbstick up will be about to about thirty. Like I said, you can change this to your personal preference. This is uh basically mouse acceleration. Thumbstick down. My controller is all fucking retarded and likes to move on its own right now. Okay, so Okay, so basically, anyway, uh, what are we on right now? Axis 5 greater than 0 is down, so we're going to set this to about 30. Okay, so basically, this is done. Um, this is all I, I'm not going to map out every command, but, uh, Please make sure your controller works. Mine's fucked up. I'm just using this one for the demonstration. Uh, so now we're going to log into Minecraft. Not hit options. Now basically this will allow me to play Minecraft with my controller. And I did not select a pointer. Fuck! Anyway, open back up Joy to Key, which is going to be in your taskbar. And uh, we're going to assign right trigger, which I believe is... I guess when they say shoulder, they mean trigger. Phew. Okay, then. Um, so let me assign these two clicks. So axis three zero is right is right trigger, so that's going to be the right button. Actually, we should have that be the left button. And then we'll have this be right button. All right, so I'm going to fine tune this a little bit more because I didn't actually realize what the fuck I was doing. Left bumper would be button five. So that's, we're going to set that to the F key. That's going to toggle render distance. Right bumper is button 6. And that's going to be our inventory. And uh, we're going to do a scroll wheel here just so we can go through our inventory. Um, D pad left, I'm going to be POV 1 left. 
that's going to be our mouse and that's going to be wheel rotation that's going to be about We'll set to that to 30, negative 30, and then button POV2 right, POV1 right actually we want, that's going to be 30. Alright, so we are done here now, let's start back up Minecraft and try this again. Okay, we're going to log in. Now, let's, for uh, looking in the menu, use the right thumbstick. And just go into single player here, and use right trigger to select. And uh, let's just go create this world. All right. So basically, we have this. It's 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 a little slow because I didn't set the acceleration too high, but basically. You can open your inventory and everything else. This is all done with controller. I might look. It maybe look like I'm moving on my own right now because I kind of am because this controller is a piece of shit. But uh, you know, toggle render distance works. Let's see. We can go through our inventory as we please. It's like I said. You might want to turn down the acceleration for that. And um, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this might be helpful to some of you who fail to use a mouse. Uh, well. Refuse to use a mouse and keyboard. You know you should, and maybe it's will convince more people to not play that shitty game called Fortress Craft. But uh, so this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, bye.